welcome back, Carol. This is one of my favorite questions. Um, influencers sometimes come in a second. Sometimes they come a lifetime. I always I was chat when I'm talking to people about my grandfather was an initial big influencer in me and uh, grew up in Montreal. He had an accent. He was from Kiev and took me on walks in the park. And I asked him one day, I'm Jewish. So I, I called him Zeta. I said, Zeta, how do you know all these people? I don't understand. And he said, well, I don't. I didn't. I don't, I don't know. And uh, with the accent, he said, but I smiled at one once and he smiled back at me. And then he started talking to me. And then someone else was smiling. It's a smiling, da, 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 and it was on and on. And I understood that as a five or six year old, pretty cool. But then you understand it even more that what an influence that was, apparently not only for him and the people he smiled to, but even a little kid that he was walking with to see that. Um, so that stayed with me forever. And there's, we all have many influencers. Can you share two or three people that have um, been influential to you in your life? Absolutely. And um when you ask that question, one comes to mind instantly. And, and you also made me think about, I need to re try to find this person and let him know that he's an influencer because he doesn't know what I've done over the last 30 years. But um, uh, I went to work as a secretary in a engineering firm um, outside of Boulder, Colorado in the early 80s. And they had uh, engineering design and manufacturing on site. And we're probably a staff of, let's say, about 150 people. Uh, the man's name is John Smith, and the company was Micromotion. It was acquired by Emerson Electric about uh, 25 years ago. Uh, so total garage entrepreneur sold it to a big company success story. She, um, we, uh, I don't know if you all remember Friday Afternoon Club. It was a brand new, you know, cutting edge in the 80s. And he would close down production, can't do this quite anymore, but he would close down production at four o'clock on Fridays. And we had beer taps, 3-2 beer. Uh, Colorado had 3-2 beer at 18. Um, we had beer taps in the um, company cafeteria and a popcorn machine. And basically everybody was expected to come for the last hour of the day on Friday. You either were signed out for you know PTO or your job was to come and you know raise a glass and have and I just so I was 1920 at the time and I just remember being viscerally aware of how that little space and relatively inexpensive thing we loved it we loved it. productivity skyrocketed yeah just I just and I, I don't even think I would have had those words mark at that age to describe it but it stuck with me and so we've always at Tatanka tried to do some sort of we have uh, summer hours from uh, Memorial Day to Labor Day weekend because you either have your job's either done on a Friday afternoon or the summer or it's not and if it's done get out of here so he's one John That's Smith I, I love um Colin Powell's. So now I'm going to go to a large figure. Colin Powell, Powell has um, 13 rules to lead by. And the number one rule, which is the one that most sticks with me, is that it's never as bad as you think it is. And again, I feel like I'm old enough now to understand. And it's true. It, it really isn't as bad as I think it is at times. So I love that. And then I'll go back to the family. My mom. My, my mom has... Um, I, I come from a line of strong women. My mom and my grandmother, her mother were entrepreneurs, wouldn't have had those words as a kid. Um, <laughs> and and she's been known to give me a kick in the pants, you know, you on and off. You can do it, or just do it. <laughs> I, I remember bemoaning to her, I had had a bad sales year and uh, this is when new newspapers were still important. She's like, look, open up the Wednesday business section of the Rocky Mountain News. There's a list of people who make the president's table every, you know, week, you know, stop whining, basically. Stop <laughs> whining about the economy, you know, keep making phone calls. I was I was hoping you'd say she told you to just do it and you should have taken that to Nike or something. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> she did, but I didn't make that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> No, that's that's fantastic. And it's uh, I think it teaches us all that um, we're influencing people all the time, also knowingly or unknowingly. And um, we actually have a choice, positive or negative, to do it by. And uh, so 
I'm sure you're continuing that teaching from your mom and your grandmother and Colin and John Smith. Is that his real name? Yeah, his <laughs> real name is John Smith. It's as generic as you can get. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing that stuff. It's uh, That's awesome. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. My pleasure.